Hey everybody, this is Selfinator, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana, Part 2. And, uh, why am I here on Blue's channel? Oh, well, I hijacked it. He doesn't know. Yeah, <laughs> so he thinks. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. Yep, so I'm, I'm just going to quickly introduce this as this is on my channel. Hey, this is me, Blue. Blah, blah, blah. I'm right now a, a speaking ghost because I don't exist in the game yet. It hasn't jacked me in yet. It's not the Matrix. Sorry, guys. Um, but, uh, hey, th this is, yes, this is the second part. Uh, first part is hosted on Health Channel. Um, I will have a annotation at the very beginning. Um, or a link, I mean, a link below to show the description. So, go check that out. And, uh, to catch up on where we are, if you, for those of you who have not played Secret of Mana. Um, yep. this will be an infrequent Let's Play. Like, in sense, we'll do it when we want to do it. Um, it's not gonna or really hinder anything else. Time. Yeah, I do it when we have time. <laughs> It'll be how Bomberman used to be, or Bomberman, how Bomberman still is. It's just when we have time and we enjoy. So, I don't want to hear this. We're, we're secret mana. We're secret mana. I'll shoot your left nut off. End of story. Shoot your left nut off. <laughs> Any particular reason why that particular? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> anyway, um, let's get ready to jump straight into story. Yeah, like sadly this is the story part. So why can't you, why don't you go left there and talk to that guy? Because I won't be able to uh, open up the stairway to him because uh, he's blocking it. Okay. Uh, uh. So we're looking for for any of you who don't know, we're looking for Luca, who's this two hundred year old maiden, and it's this young girl right here. And my guy just went. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Insert home improvement sound effect. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so I think I have to talk to. Oh, wrong button. Sorry, <laughs> I moved my finger around on the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who don't know, I actually have never played this game before, so that's kind of why I decided to do the let's play. I was like, oh, I've never played this game, and helps my buddy. So, oh, all right, this works for me. Yeah, and and uh, I'm, for I'm if you see, veteran any... for the game. So. Yeah, he's the veteran. I'm t I'm two player. Woo. <laughs> uh, but for those of you who don't know, um, we are playing these on emulators because we don't live next to each other. So uh, any little graphical glitches, you know what to blame. Yeah, but we always enjoy graphical glitches, don't we? Mm -hmm. So they're really they're basically if for any of you out there, they're uh, reading the text. They're kind of just uh, rehashing what we did last episode so this is this is a recap yeah this is basically telling us that we have to reforge the sword to make it more powerful to like seal off the evil isn't that basically yep. what it is yeah yep pretty much so now i have to talk to luca and uh so apparently well um the main reason why we're going around in trying to seal all this mana back up into its respect their respective uh, seeds is because without it, like, without doing that, it resurrects the Mana Fortress, which is the ultimate weapon. Okay. See the King of Pandora. Alright. Guy's navel. <laughs> All right. So to reforge our weapons, we're going to have or to forge our weapons, I should say, we're going to have to head down to Guy's Naval to uh, see a particular person down there. Alrighty. Okay. Now we have to talk to her again. <laughs> All right. What am I scared of? Uh, the sword. That is the Mana Sword, but its power is gone. Last one last ounce of power to summon you. Uh, yeah. Why me? Cause I'm first player, bitch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> mm, why do they just say no way? Like, come on, no problem. <laughs> yep. Like, okay, I I started playing this game, so I'm just gonna refuse doing anything. Yep, just refuse. I do that all the time in games. When it brings up a decision, it's just like, oh, um, 
Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, like, I did the. Have you played Paper Mario Thousand Year Door? No. <sighs> oh, but one really quick thing is that I thought this was funny for all the selections for this conversation. Mm -hmm. It was always the first one, and then right at the end, they pull a Gabora Gabora. And it's the other one. Oh, if really? you hit the first one again, it sent you through it again. Oh. <laughs> hell is this? First meta seed. Seal. For a second, for a moment, the seed and the sword became one. You have sealed the mana seed with your mana sword. Alrighty. Now Time. the mana power from the seed will be sent only to you and your sword. It would gain the power from the mana seed wherever you are. The world has eight palaces. Visit them all and receive the power from them all. Oh boy, this is like Zelda! We get to go to the palaces! Oh boy! Uh, yeah. And actually, some of them are pretty fucking tough. Oh boy. Uh, I think... Actually, pretty soon, we're gonna be, uh... Actually, the hardest boss in the game is actually... Up pretty soon, so... Oh, okay. Well, at least we get it out of the way early. Yeah, true. Watch we glitch him. That wasn't so hard. <laughs> Hey, we get to finally be able to save, yeah. Uh, where do I save? I don't know. Whatever your heart desires. Where's your heart <laughs> desire, pick <Pickle> one? <laughs> <laughs> I had to decide. There's so many doing damn choices. Yep. Not to the realm of Pandora. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, now it's Okay, so. Now, wow, now we have two bridges. Well, we didn't activate that second one. Oh, well. No, uh, Gemma did, so he can get out. Okay. Alright, so pretty much I'm going to just start sprinting. Don't forget, we have a sprint button. <laughs> okay. But it can, but you can only sprint when your uh, energy is up to 100. So, like here, see that I'm tired out, so I have to yep. rest. Yeah. Cool. Actually, uh, one thing to point out is in the second one. Oh god, it's the yellow marshmallows. Kill the yellow marshmallow. Yes. Oh, in the last episode, I couldn't remember what the name of these enemies were. Enemies are, but I remembered their name is Lullabud. Which kind of okay. makes sense. So, Prana plant, plant ripoff gets Lullabud. Okay. And that thing dodged my attack. Twice. Yep, he owned you. Ah! What the? What? Oh, what? Well, I'm dead. What the heck happened? WTF? You don't move, stay still. <laughs> oh god, I'm glad I'm lucky I'm your main dish, assholes. <laughs> Help? Help? Help! Let me go! You leak delicious. Oh, you look leak. Wow, I didn't really say you leak delicious. Okay. <laughs> you leak delicious. Hey, the dancing has already begun. Let's join in. Oh, hey. Is that me? That, is that me? Yes. All right, I'm a girl. Woo! Hey, you. <laughs> yeah. Just What on earth are you doing, you idiot? I'm getting boiled. What does it look like? <laughs> getting cooked. Woo! You know, this is a new sauna. They should have this in uh, Kid Icarus. You know? Uh, this song? No, 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 no. You know how, like, you find a hot spring? You know, this yeah. is the new hot spring. Ah, uh, okay. A pot with a smiling face? Yeah. Yeah. So, I couldn't help myself out, so I needed you. Cool. So, how does not doing the guards thing not make her do anything? What What do you mean? Like you told, said last episode that if we didn't talk to those guards, how would she ignore you? Uh, because this this whole event does not happen. Oh, really? Yes. Because you need them to go to, um, go to the, uh, there's a forest that they uh, teleported to. There's a witch there. Okay. And 
she all of her henchmen are the goblins. Okay. And the goblins came out came out of her forest and started coming here. And we'll see them later. Okay, okay. Oh. God damn um, it. Dude, there's a mushroom there. Just trying to let you know. It's mushboom. There's a mushroom there. I don't care if it's mushboom, it's mushroom in my eyes. You know Get how him! Oh, never mind. You, but you see what I was talking about earlier? How, like, his graphic, it's like a part of him rips open and he spews out spores. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for anybody out there who, well, for all of you out there who don't, can't, like, telepathically hear our conversation, uh, <laughs> what I was talking about Check earlier is that get... oh. candy won't fit. We have too much candy. We can't have too much candy. <laughs> But um, what we were talking about earlier is that I actually have this, I have this game, the HD remake, on my iPhone, which you can pick up for eight or seven or eight dollars, if you feel inclined to. Um, all of the sprites have been remastered and set up uh, to be what they were supposed to be. Like for example, Mushboom, when he uh, spews out spores, he was supposed to take off the cap on top of his head, and he has a hole there that he'd spew out the spores. But because of graphical limitations of the SNES, they could not do that. Hmm. So they had him, like, ripping open half his body, like that. Well, to me, I thought he was just spewing it out of his mouth. I didn't know if that was the mouth or his ass, or... <laughs> I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what's going it on. It looks like a, a um, Gordroid from, like, Animal Crossing. Never played Animal Crossing. Oh, that's a sin. Hey, there's a little guy up there. Why didn't you go talk to him? Oh, because this is what he's he's good for like a quick uh, little fast travel thing. He'll spring you up to the top here so you don't have to go all the way around. Oh, huh. that's cool. I think there are a couple of them around the world, but this is I think there's like three. But he's so cute. Go. I was like, oh, little yellow guy. And then you just walked away. I was like, what, 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 what does he do? <laughs> he is useless. Oh shit! Now I'm poisoned. Hey, you look like a gargoyle. You're blue. Oh, you were blue. Oh nice god! Lead. You're getting owned. Oh no 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 no! Run away! Run away! Candy. I'm gonna have to resort to candy. Candy time. For those of you who don't know, I learned this last episode. Candy is your basically your your potion. Yeah. And there's upgrades to the can. Like there are different types of candies that you can get. Cool. Like chocolate. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Let me guess. Chocolate like fully heals you? No. Oh. But it does like 200, 300. Nice, nice. So, pretty much for if we can get our hands on it for the first half of the game, that is pretty much full heal. Nice, nice. Uh oh. Welcome to Pandora. Cool beans. Yep. Um, actually, here, I'm going to actually just quickly go to the shop, and I'm going to buy a couple stuff, if if I'm thinking they have what I think they have. Yes, they do. Though, I think I'll hold it. Eh, I will buy this. What does a hair ribbon do? You'll see. Okay, I'll accept it. Okay. Let's get on out of here. Um, actually, I have to go to the castle of Pandora. Okay. Because there's a certain little princess here that we must talk to. Okay. I presume that's me. That's stupid. Yes. <laughs> yes, you're the uh, you're the spoiled rotten princess. Woo! It's exactly who I am in real life. <laughs> Nobody might... knows it. But you might be surprised by the weapon that she comes with. Oh boy. Yeah. Hey, it's the guy I saved! Say what, you're a swordsman? Oh, look at this rusty sword. <laughs> I'm gonna go teach that wish a lesson. But to save Dylok. <laughs> yeah. That's her that's that's her love interest is Dylok. Yeah. Go to the underground palace. Later. Later! Later! Right, let's go. Uh, I'm Pelf. 
Oh, call me. Please name this, <laughs> this young, young lady. lady. <laughs> oh, so is it okay if we uh, name it what we were talking about naming naming her? Sure. Last. I'll be up for it. Um, this is actually just uh, for anybody out there. This was actually supposed to be a three-player uh, let's play, and unfortunately, there's no three-player SNES emulators. <laughs> so, this is our way of paying homage to <laughs> our friend Odin. <laughs> Odina. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I can move around now. Can I? No. Well, yeah. Hit hit your select. Oh. Or start. There you go. Yay. Woo. And, okay, you can bring up your, uh... Oh, it's Sprint, okay. Alright. Whoa, whoa, okay, so... She comes with brass knucks. Alright. And, actually, at this point in time, I think the spear is stronger for you. Is it? Let me check I out, let's see. So. We got 12, 12. Yep. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Whoops, how do I select it? Uh, B. B is your... B is everything in this game. Just select it again. There did you go. Did that work? Did that work? Yes, it did. Yep. Okay. Now, and now go up, bring up the uh, ring ring menu again. This, by the way, this is the most interesting menu I've ever seen. Okay. Actually, like once you get used to it, it's fantastic for switching the spells and everything. It's so fast. Nice. All nice. Right, so hit up, up okay. again. Now go to equip. Okay. And select the hair ribbon. That's, yeah, that's what I presumed. That's why you got it. I wasn't stupid. That's your first piece of armor for the game. You have awesome. I'm so glad I get a ribbon for my hair. Yeah. Alrighty. Yep. So you have a kung fu suit, if you can't tell. <laughs> that's cool. I'll go All back. Right. So that's that. Uh, you can actually just hit uh, the button that you... Uh, okay. Uh, I'm just checking out the menu here. This will be the last little bit we do this, this is episode. I just want to check everything out. It's kind of different for me. Yeah. And after, if you bring up our stats, see your stat and look that little that little blue thing down there. Yeah. That's the mana seed power. Okay, so I can apparently get blue. Hey, uh, hey, blue! Oh. oh, it's so funny. Blue gets blue. Oh! All right. Wisdom 15. Well, apparently I'm gonna have high wisdom and high attack. So yep, far. You can switch to me. There you go. You're gonna have nasty attack and high strength and agility. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. You're, I mean you're the healer right now. Yep. And I'm the warrior, so. Yep. Okay. All right. And I'm gonna check out one last thing. I want to see this. And then that'll be it for the episode. Okay, so it just shows how like gear. Yeah. It shows what level they are. Okay. Okay. I thought. Oh, yeah. This is your the levels for you, not not like. Mm -hmm. For me, like for me, the rusty sword is level up one. Okay. One. That's so cool. So each person has their own skill set. Nice. All right. You can basically shape the character to however you want them to be. Awesome. Okay. Now, so actually, I'll... I'm just really quickly. I want to get out of get out of here first. Okay. And potentially, um, we should probably go to the inn and uh, rest up. Okay. We'll end it when we're sleeping. Oh, Jesus. I can't figure out these doorways at all. I'm also playing on a keyboard because I don't have my controller set up, so this will be fun. Granted, hey, this I game, I figured this game wouldn't be too bad with a keyboard. Nah, all SNES games are not bad with a keyboard. I mean, there might be some that are atrocious, but I'm not I'm not sure. a fan of playing Mega Man with it, to be honest with you. Uh, hmm. Never played Mega Man X, but okay. Alright. Yourself to a bed. Whoa, that'll be ten bucks! Jesus. Okay. Woo! Right. There we go. Hmm, I wonder if we're missing somebody. Hmm. Are you staring at me while I'm sleeping? That's kind of weird. Yep. It's my job. All okay. right. Save the game. Booyah. All right. Well, guys, thank you guys for watching. Right, subscribe. So Do many choices. Stuff. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Is there <laughs> a maybe option? Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Rate, subscribe, do good stuff. Next time on Let's Play Co-op Secret of Mana. I have no idea. What are we going to do, Health? Uh, we're going to wander around aimlessly. Okay, so just like this episode. All right. <laughs> See you guys <laughs> next time. Goodbye. See y'all later.